Hello and welcome to this video about current potential different graphs and in these graphs we plot the current flowing through a component against the potential difference across the component and the three components that we need to look at for um, P2 are resistors which have this circuit symbol the filament lamp which is this, and the diode. So you should be able to recognise the circuit symbols for all of these, but also for part of the topic we need to look at the relationship between the current flowing through these components and the potential difference across the components. So if we think about how a normal graph would look, we might start to draw two axes, and we might look at current against potential difference. But the graph of these components looks a little bit more complicated, as well as this region here, which are all positive numbers, these graphs will also look um, at the negative number. So they'll look a little bit like this, and they'll also include looking at this region here, which are negative. So these potent, current potential different graphs for these components um, have this kind of cross shape and you need to recognise these. Okay, let's start off with the resistor then. I've just put current up the side and uh, the potential difference along the bottom. For a resistor, the shape that we need to recognise is the relationship between current and potential difference for a resistor would be a straight line that goes through the origin. Now depending on the resistor, it might be a straight line that looks like this, or you could have a straight line going through like this, or perhaps a straight line going through at this angle. It doesn't matter the angle that the line is, but we need to recognise then that this shape here, a straight line going through the origin, is the current potential difference graph for a resistor and the important thing is that that resistor has to be at constant temperature and we'll discuss why when we talk about the lamp in a minute but for a resistor at constant temperature this is the um, kind of line you will see on a current potential difference graph if we think about how we would describe that line remember every straight line going through the origin means that the relationship is directly proportional. The second component that we need to look at then is the filament bulb or the filament lamp. And this shape of the graph looks rather different to the resistor. So the filament um, bulb would look a little something like this where you have a curve both in the positive section and the negative section. So let's put our current by voltage on here. So rather than the resistor that had a straight line through, you can see that the filament bulb has curved lines in both sections. So being in the negative again, all that means is if you turned the battery around the other way, the circuit would still work and the current would still flow through the filament bulb. But we need to explain why we have this curved relationship as opposed to that straight line through that we saw on the resistor. And this is all to do with the fact that the as the current flows through the, the filament bulb, the temperature increases. And as the temperature increases of the filament bulb, then resistance through that filament bulb will increase. And we looked at that in a previous video when we talked about current trying to flow through a wire with metal atoms. And we said that if that those atoms were vibrating more, it would be more difficult for the electrons to flow through because they'd be colliding with all those ions. And it's the same with the filament bulb, that as the temperature increases, the resistance increases, so therefore you get this curved relationship because if resistance was constant it would be a straight line through here just like the resistor 
but it's not. This shows that as the temperature increases, the resistance is increasing, so we have a curved line relationship. So for a filament bulb then we need to recognise this as being the shape of a current potential difference graph and we know that now this time the relationship is not directly proportional because we don't have a straight line through zero and instead we get this curved relationship. So the final component that we need to look at is the diode and a diode is something in a circuit that only lets current flow in one direction. And I try and remember that by remembering the symbol for a diode looks a little bit like an arrow. Okay, first of all we remember it as DI for diode. But then we also remember if you look at it, it looks a little bit like an arrow and that will help you remember that current only flows in one direction. So what that means is if you had a very simple circuit with a diode, what that means is if you took this cell out and switched the battery around in the other direction, then the current would not flow. Okay, so the current only flows in one direction, so if you switch the cell around, then the current would not flow again. So in this case, we have nothing in this negative area of the graph over here. And therefore, we get a relationship that looks a little bit like this, where we have no values in the negative, where it just tracks along zero, and then we have the values in the positive here. So this kind of graph is the relationship between current and potential difference for a diode. Importantly it doesn't have any values over here because of the current flows in only one direction and we need to recognize um, this relationship here. Now the reason why the current doesn't flow is because there's really high resistance in the reverse direction which doesn't allow the current to flow the opposite way. In summary then, these are the three current potential difference graphs that you need to recognise for your exam. They might ask, they might for example give you a picture of one of them and say what component is this the current potential difference graph for, and in which case you just need to name the resistor, the filament bulb or the diode. They might ask you to describe the relationship, remembering that this is a directly proportional relationship. Um, they might ask you why you know this is a diode, and this um, should link into your understanding that current only flows in one direction. And they also might ask you why the filament bulb has a curved relationship, and that's the idea that as the temperature increases, the resistance across the filament bulb increases as well. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, please press the like button below, and feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.